my esteemed viewers in this tutorial we discuss a famous sorting algorithm called heap sort heap is a data structure is a data structure and definitely not a disordered pile of uh, items as the world's definition in the standard dictionary might suggest rather it is a clever partially ordered data structure that is especially suitable for implementing priority queues. Uh, I think you may recall your attention to priority queues. Priority queue is a multiset of items with an orderable characteristic called the item's priority with the, with the operations. And uh, before I explain the property, some of the properties and some of the useful useful characteristic features of this heap it's it's very important to note it is pertinent to note that heap is a special memory where dynamically created programming objects are called when we use a malloc and kelloc and when we store files dynamically when we dynamically create files in a programming language particularly c uh, the heap uh, there is a special memory location called heap and where uh, actually it is in the heap the dynamically uh, dynamically allotted programming objects are placed heap is a data structure actually heap is also is also connoted as a data structure a very useful data structure it's also called as a priority queue and uh, it is amenable for finding an item with highest priority deleting an item with highest priority adding a new item to the multiset Heap also serves as a placeholder for the famous sorting technique called heap sort, and that is the that is the point in discussion as far as this tutorial is concerned. Uh, heap has to satisfy two primary properties: shape requirement and parental dominance. By shape requirement, we means it should be a complete tree or essentially complete tree, where uh, at the most only rightmost leaves may be missing this is a heap this is a heap in that sense and this is also a heap the another important property of a heap is the parental dominance that is the key of the node the key of the parent the key of the parent node is always greater than the keys of its children so with this definition with this definition this can never be considered as a heap because here is the parental node with the key value equal to 6 and it has a children with a key value equal to 8. It has a child with a key value equal to 8. And this is the important properties, two important properties that are to be satisfied in order to call a tree to be a heap. There are some important properties of the heap which has been, which has been significantly used, which has been usefully used expeditiously used while heap sort heap sort technique its height is equal to log n like any other tree like any other binary tree okay if there are if there are uh, seven nodes it will be the height will be equal to 2 because it is floor of log 2n uh, the root always contains the largest element the node of a heap node of a heap is considered with all its descendant is also a heap a heap can be implemented as an array recording uh, recording its elements in the top down left to right manner okay and this will be explained when we when we go for a heap sort because this is the first technique this is the first technique uh, it will be it will the problem comes like an array and it will be converted into a heap therefore this is an example for representational change representational change of transform and conquer version the starting vertex is indexed at one and this is the only only data structure where where the first element is not placed in the zeroth cell in the zeroth location that means uh, maybe maybe the zeroth location may go a waste or some sentinel element can be kept over there in order not to leave it a, a waste not to leave it an empty okay the parental node keys will be in positions up to and including n by 2 that means if there are if there are n nodes 
if there are nodes n nodes the parents will end up at n by 2 the floor of n by 2 if there are seven nodes if there are seven nodes then then the first three nodes will be covered by the parent the leaf keys will be the last ceiling of n by 2 positions and if there are n nodes once again if there are seven nodes four of them the last four elements the last four nodes will be definitely the the leaves the children of a parental node at ith position if the parent is in the ith position then his children will be found at 2i and 2i plus 1 positions that means for an example if the parent is the second node then his child his children will be at 4 and 5th positions the parent of a child in position i is found at uh, naturally naturally the parent of a child in position i is found at floor of floor of i by 2 that is if a if a child is located at fourth position then his parent will be in the second position as a general definition a heap a heap denoted as h is an array basically is an array in which every element in position i in the first half in the first half is greater than or equal to the elements in the positions 2i and 2a plus 1 this is simply because simply because every element in the position i happens to be the parent of the of the children who are in the positions of 2i and 2a plus 1 okay and we will just explain taking an example as to how heap sort is to be conducted by using the tree uh, the data structure which is basically a tree and then we we will also look into another algorithm which uh, which is which will see the heap in an array itself uh, by by defining the positions of parents and children and we will continue with this heap sort and finally we will end up this session by writing the algorithm okay uh, heap tree based sorting illustration okay this particular illustration is uh, is with respect to making making constructing the heap structure in the form of a tree and then implementing the heap sort see the elements given are 12 19 17 16 15 and 18 and 22 first of all the array like the array like input should be converted into a tree like fashion therefore therefore this this is an example of this is an example of uh, uh, the second version of transform and conquer algorithm design strategy that is the representational change 12 12 will occupy the root 12 will occupy the root uh, it should be placed in the root necessarily necessarily then then uh, then 19 is to be represented it should come like this it should literally come like this 19 is to be represented it is left child next sibling representation now we should go towards this direction 17 is to be represented then once again it should become it should be coming like this in a in a clockwise helical fashion helical fashion 16 is to be represented over here so 15 18 and 22 okay this is the representation so it came like an array and this is the position number one it is not zero it is not zero okay because of the implementation of the heap Im implementation of heap sort represent uh, requires that the first first node or first element should be should be placed in the first in the first cell not in the zeroth cell because because we need to catch we need to catch hold of the children of a particular parent by multiplying by two and adding one so if this is the first if this is the first parent uh, number one number one with respect to its position then his children will be available in two into one that is the second place and two into one plus one in the third place now now uh, in order to in order to preserve the parental dominance uh, uh, we need to, uh, uh, so shape property it satisfies anyway anyway it satisfies now we have to keep regard to the parental dominance and while while regarding the parental dominance we will enter from the last parent and you know by the definition of the parental positions the last parent will be available at ceiling of n by 2 sorry floor of n by 2 floor of n by 2 here as far as this example is concerned 
uh, as an example is concerned it is it is 7 by 2 okay floor of 7 by 2 floor of 7 by 2 is not 3.5 it is equal to c therefore therefore the third parent is the last parent and all others are children are, are the are the children okay who are at the leaf level okay so the algorithm enters into the last parent that is 17 and his children will be compared his children are his children are the 2 into 3 that is 6 and 2 into 3 plus 1 that is 7 and the comparison will take place among themselves among the children it is it is 18 and 22 22 is the winner 22 is the biggest and 22 will be compared with the node his parent and the this fellow happens to be lesser than this 22 therefore swapping will take place okay 17 will come to the leaf 22 will go to the 22 will occupy the parental position then comparison will be done for the parent uh, parent n by 2 minus 1 okay n by 2 minus 1 that is 19th and the probe will be will be placed on 19th because he is the second fellow he is the second fellow second parent okay his children are 16 and 15 okay uh, how how do we arrive at this uh, children we will just multiply the position of this parent with 2 and add 1 okay it is this is the second place of the parent 2 into 2 4 4 and 5 4 plus 1 5 so fourth fellow and fifth fellow happens to be the children of 19 and uh, 16 is the biggest and 16 happens to be lesser than 19 therefore prominent uh, parental dominance has been preserved over here then we will go to this first parent who is at the root who is at the root and his children are 19 and 22 okay 2 into 1 and 2 plus 1 uh, that is 2 plus 1 3 second and third fellows are the children of this 12 okay uh, a comparison will take place and 22 uh, 22 emerges out to be the biggest and uh, and there will be swapping that takes place 22 will go to the root now now once again uh, till it is heapified okay this process is called as heapification once again it will be checked once again the last parent will be probed the last parent happens to be 12 that is 7 by 2 that is 3 12 and his children are uh, a comparison will take place between the children it is 18 and 17 18 emerges to be the biggest and swapping will take place between 18 and 12 so 12 will come to the leaf position and 18 will go to the parental position and this is already uh, already tested and this uh, this preserves the parental dominance and anyway anyway after 18 occupying this particular place it becomes a heap it becomes a heap so uh, so many comparisons took place before before the first iteration is completed first iteration is completed okay every iteration is followed by heapification and 22 comes to the top and you should notice over here the biggest among all the elements will occupy the rootal position now now after happening of this particular heapification process the 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 node containing the highest value that is the root will be will be the key will be exchanged with the the rightmost leaf that is 22 will come over here 22 will come over here and 17 will go over here so as soon as 22 occupies the leaf position it will be plucked it will be just cut off from the tree and it will be placed in an array in the array in the last position in the last position and once it is placed this 22 will be already arranged in ascending order it will be it will find its place in an array which is already sorted therefore heapification is to be done in the second cycle for the n minus 1 elements n minus 1 elements okay uh, yeah yeah this is the thing this is what happened right 17 went there in the previous cycle 19 is here 18 is over here once again once again a check will happen again from the so now number of uh, number of elements number of elements in this heap happen to be uh, 3 plus 3 6 and 6 by 2 is 3 and this is the last parent so 18 will be compared with 12 or there is only one child anyway the parental dominance is preserved and here also parental dominance is preserved and when we come over here okay the first parent who is at the node uh, the parental dominance is not preserved it is not it is not complied with 
because a comparison will take place between the children and 19 emerges out to be the biggest and 19 is replaced over here and it will go to it will go to the rootal position and 17 will occupy this particular place and it is this which which happens and once again the checking will start from over here this this preserves parental dominance this will also preserve parental dominance and the entire tree uh, entire tree the remaining part of the heap is really a heap then what happens the this is the biggest among the remaining and this will be exchanged with the rightmost leaf so 19 will come over here only for the plucking only pl we cannot cut off the root it's a very simple thing therefore 19 will come over here 12 will go over there okay and uh, 19 is removed 19 is removed and 12 is still there once again heapification will start the probe will be at 12 there is no children therefore it is left as it is at at 17 the the second parent is is verified for his dominance anyway it is dominant because his children are lesser than them lesser than 17 and here when it when it comes to the root okay uh, here again here again the parental dominance is preserved therefore 18 will be swapped with 15 it will be it will be occupying the position of the leaf so 15 will go over there 15 will go over there and and this 18 is plucked 18 is removed and it is placed in the array in the in the in the rare in the rare of the array so 22 went first 22 went first if you recall your memory 22 went first and then came then came 19 from the last position last but one position then then we entered 18 the array is building up the sorted array is building up from the rare side right then this is what remains maybe after the third iteration once again the parental dominance is questioned and here again it is struck now his children are compared 17 and 12 17 happens to be the biggest and 17 will be ported over here 15 is brought to this particular position so 15 once again the comparison will start whether you know, until it is heapified the heapification will continue that is that's it and when it comes over here when the probe is at this parent at this particular parent and here the parental dominance is not preserved therefore it is exchanged so 16 will go there and 15 will come to the leaf now this is the thing this is the thing no no uh, this is a heap this is a heap and it is exchanged okay the the maximum element which is found in the root is swapped with the leaf rightmost leaf uh, or whatever the leaf that is available available at that particular iteration iteration point okay only to pluck this okay as soon as 17 comes over here it is plucked and placed in the array now this is what happens so after the after the elimination of 17 and it is placed over here you, you can notice the array that is getting developed so 15 16 and 12 once again parental dominance is checked 16 comes over here okay 16 comes over here after this particular exchange after this exchange 16 will come over here and 15 will come over here and and once again once again 16 is ported to this particular position the rightmost leaf and 16 is plucked 12 will go over here this is what remains this is what remains and and the swapping will happen like this because 15 should become parent and 12, 12 should be its child and so and once again 15 is moved over here 15 is moved over here sent to the leaf and it will be plucked and it will be placed in the array so what remains is only one element and it is simply porting this element to the array okay therefore therefore the removal of the node the removal of the maximum load among the remaining the mag the removal i repeat the removal of the node which is the root node which contains the maximum of the among the remaining elements will be plucked n minus one times the last person the last node the last key will be will be simply ported to the array therefore the root removal has to take place n minus one times now 
uh, you should notice you should notice the ease with which ease with which the elements can be numbered because the first element starts from the first place and the positions of parents the definition the clear definition of position of parents and the respective child children and vice versa will pave the way for the heap sort algorithm an excellent algorithm okay to find heap in an array itself okay you know, so the 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 structure of a tree that we wrote in the previous examples uh, should come as a notion should come as a notion actually everything happens within the single array okay uh, single array by defining the positions of the parent and positions of their respective children therefore therefore we never use any extra array in heap sort therefore heap sort is is in place this is a very important point to reckon with now we will we will just do array implementation okay the heap anyway this is a heap sort only but heap is seen in the array itself okay there are seven elements there are seven elements over here and and he is the, this is the last parent okay this is, so the last parent will be in the position n by 2 so this is once again 7 by 2 7 by 2 the floor of 7 by 2 floor of 7 by 2 is 3 so he is the last parent here 6 is the last parent so 6 is the last parent who, who comes in the first position third position because this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 5 6 7 okay therefore therefore his children are 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 that is 6 and 7 so 6 fellow is 7 and and the seventh fellow is 4 among them comparison will take place 7 is the biggest element so 7 is exchanged with 6 7 is exchanged with 6 so 7 will become parent 6 will be will find his position as a chill child of 7 therefore the array takes the shape something like this 1 8 7 5 3 6 and 4 then the probe will move to 8 move to 8 so therefore this heap sort algorithm moves from while during heapification it will move from n by 2 to 1 n by 2 to 1 okay so 8 this is the second parent his children are 5 and 3 because it is 4 and 5 2 into 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 there it is it is they are 5 and 3 who are already lesser than 8 therefore parental dominance is maintained then the probe will go to 1 so it, it will remain something like this only 1 8 7 5 3 6 4 the probe will go over here and his children are this fellow 8 and 7 a comparison will take place between 8 and 7 8 emerges to be the biggest and a swapping will take place over here okay now 8 will come over here 1 is there 7 is here 5 3 they remain in, in their respective leaves 4 now once again to verify whether whether uh, it is still a heap once again the probing will start and he is the parent the first parent okay at n by 2 and his children are 6 and 4 anyway parental dominance is maintained and as far as this parent is concerned who is in the second position his children are 5 and 3 5 emerges to be biggest biggest and and parent is exchanged because parent is parent holds a key which is less than 5 therefore therefore 8 5 7 1 3 6 4 6 4 once again a check will be made so 7 is the parent at n by 2 his children are okay then anyway parental dominance is maintained and when you when you come over here his children are 1 and 3 they are lesser than the parent and this is this is anyway it is already satisfied because his children are uh, the this uh, this notes children are 5 and 7 
they are also lesser than this parent okay now it is hippified so here's a, this is the first hippification okay before we remove the root before we remove the root and root the rootal node will always be in the position one okay this you have to we, we have to remember this okay this is a complete heap it is hippified this is a heap now now uh, this will be sent to the leaf it is the last fellow okay there is an exchange that happens okay this uh, parental node the maximum valued element who is found in the root and therefore who is found in the very first position of the array will be potted over here so eight will come over here okay and find his pride of place in this altered array okay uh, never never we disturb this eight okay seven one three six three six so four five seven one three six okay four five seven one three six eight okay we need to consider only this portion of the array there are six elements six by two is three and here is the parent and seven is probed his children are checked his children are uh, uh, six and seven okay six and seven only uh, the seventh fellow uh, seventh fellow is not available because he is already in the sorted array he is six and he is lesser than this parent therefore parental dominance is maintained as far as five is concerned his children are four and five they are one and three it is less than that as far as this parent is concerned his children are five and seven and seven emerges to be the biggest and four will be shifted over there so seven five four so there is a swapping that takes place in order to preserve the parental dominance then one three six eight is there okay eight we will just disregard this eight because it is already in the sorted array now now once again this dominance criteria uh, is verified for his children is six therefore it is to be shifted okay so now it is seven five six seven five six one three one, three, four. Eight is there, of course. Eight is there. Now, parental dominance is maintained, and as far as five is concerned, five is concerned. It is four and five, one and three, satisfied. As far as this is concerned, brutal position is concerned. This also satisfied. Therefore, therefore, this will be exchanged with four. Seven is exchanged with four. So four will come over here. Five is there. Six, one, three. Seven, so seven and eight will remain in this hearted array. Okay, so hippification is to be tested only for four, five, six, one, three. There will be five elements: four, five, six, one, three. Okay, four, five, six, one, three. Of course, seven and eight are already there in this hearted array. Okay, seven is here. It is here. They remain untouched. Now, now there are five elements. The the last parent will be here because five by two floor of five by two is two. His children, his children are at are at four and five. It's one and three. Parental dominance is maintained. And as far as this fellow is concerned, he is at one. His his children are two and three. Two are among two and three, six emerges to be the highest and. He will be ported over here. Six, five, four, one, three, seven, eight is already there. Now, now this is hippified. Okay, this is hippified. You should see that. You should see that because he is the parent. His children are one and three. Okay, six is the parent. Five and four are his children. So parental dominance is maintained. So six will be ported exchange with three, because he is the leaf element. Element. So three will come over here. Five, four, one, six. Okay. Uh, six. Okay. Six, seven, eight. 
okay now what remains is only four elements once again the parent is phi the parent is is the phi parental element is phi okay uh, and his children four and phi there is no fifth element only one so the children of phi is one child of phi is one and child of three is three is two and three five and four okay and phi emerges to be the biggest and in place of three phi will come okay three will come over here okay three will come over here and four remains there only of course one will be there one will be there once again phi it is checked three and four as his children for three one is the children therefore swapping will take place between five and one and what happens is one three four okay this array will now contain this array will now contain uh, the sorted elements it is five six seven eight seven eight now once again three by two is one and he is the parent okay and his children are three and four four emerges to be the biggest so four will go over here three remains there one is here okay four will be exchanged with the leaf four will come over here then the array becomes the array becomes uh, uh, one three four five six seven eight now among two he is the parent his child is three and exchange will take place three will go over here three will come to the leaf position once again and three will remain over here and what remains okay what remains at the end is only one and and only one node that is a root node and he, he is he will be already in the first position so what emerges is a sorted array Array. So you should notice that by holding the positions of uh, the positions of parents and positions of their respective children, the sorting algorithm takes place. And of course, the heap sort algorithm involves too many exchanges, too many swappings, too many swappings. But still, it's an it's an excellent algorithm because to delete a element, to insert an element, to insert an element. To search for an element, it takes only log in time because of the shape, because of the tree shape. Right. So what emerges finally is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is a sorted array. Right. So therefore we can conclude by just, just uh, mentioning the heap sort algorithm. Okay. It, ha it involves two stages primarily. Construct a heap for a given array. Then second stage is apply maximum key deletion algorithm uh, i think you might uh, you might uh, rec you, you can recall that in every time we just removed maximum key if you are, if you are arranging the array in ascending order and if you are arranging the array in descending order we need to remove the minimum key minimum key among the remaining okay n minus 1 times because the nth fellow will be will be already there in the sorted array and there is no question of removing him he will be he will be definitely in the position one okay so apply maximum key deletion algorithm n minus one times to the remaining heap the maximum key deletion algorithm works like this 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 particular algorithm is to be implemented n minus one times by the main algorithm step one it has it involves three steps in the first step exchange the roots key with the last key k of the heap who is available in the leaf rightmost leaf step 2 decrease the heap size by 1 because the position the uh, the rotal element the key found in the root will be already placed in this sorted array then then when you uh, due to the exchange that happened in the step 1 uh, the heap will have lost its heap shape and and also uh, particularly the predominance of the parent then once again we need to heapify or we have to heapify till it gets heapified okay the smaller tree by shifting k down the tree exactly in the same way by verifying if parental dominance holds for k if holds done if not swap swap k with the largest of the children repeat this until the parental dominance holds 
k in its new position so this this is exactly what we uh, what we say heaps at and and before we go for the next uh, the next tutorial which is the other version of transform and conquer that is a that is problem reduction okay we will be taking a problem reduction the third version and the examples concerning the problem reduction version of the transform and conquer algorithm until then bye, bye. thank you